Before the program even starts, I expect there could be some challenges. Getting in my papers and visas um, by the due date might be tricky, but I always know that I can rely on the IP office if I ever have questions or need help with that. Planning out where I want to go during my free time uh, could be difficult, but I can always ask the faculty in residence or the program director ahead of time for suggestions and coordinate that with the itinerary. Even after the program, I expect there will be some challenges, uh, namely remembering the day-to-day -day events. I want to remember what happened in those little interactions um, for years to come. I want to be able to reminisce on them, recollect on them, see maybe how I grew in the program or what lessons I learned. And in order to achieve that, I plan on keeping a journal where I put in entries every two or three days. I expect to face the majority of my challenges during the actual program. Language and communication is one obvious barrier, and it's not something easily overcome. I took four semesters of Spanish right before I headed to Spain with my family, and it barely helped at all. I took one subway line three times the wrong direction, and yet it only went in two directions. <laughs> it was pathetic. Likewise, there's only so much you can do to prepare yourself for experiencing another nation's culture for the first time. I'm certainly no expert. But if expertise were required for everything, you couldn't try anything. And I'm not scared to try new things. I know that with traveling abroad, there's obviously going to be some uncomfortable moments, some misunderstandings, but that's not an issue for me. I'm patient and I try and keep an open mind. I'm going to be traveling with my peers, and I know that I'll be there to support them when they need help, and they'll be there to support me. I really have a lot of enthusiasm for this trip. Whether it be planning out exactly where I'm going to visit before we even step foot in China, or going to every event, production, play, and trying as much food as humanly possible, I'm going to experience as much as I possibly can. And I've learned from my past trips that it's so much more fun, so much more rewarding and enjoyable to share those experiences with others. I'm not really a pushy person, but I'm always going to be encouraging others to step outside their comfort zone and try new things the things that they want to do. I have no reservations about my passions. You can see it in the shirt I'm wearing, or the anime posters on my wall, or the mound of stuffed Pikachus that sits right by my desk. I don't want anyone walking away from this trip feeling like they could have done something else or something more during the trip, that they somehow missed out in a way, or that they weren't able to explore one of their passions. I felt that way after a trip before, and it's not fun. But this trip means way too much to me for me not to make the most of it. Thank you.